Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So today we will go through our shape mapper node from Subsend Designer. It's a pretty interesting, a cool and fun to use node. So let's see how to work with the shape mapper. First, shape mapper, you need a shape. So I will go pick a shape here and turn this shape into disk. I always like to keep disks. Then I will take shape mapper. Here it is. And I will connect the shape to the shape mapper. As soon I will do that, it will start giving me this sort of a design here. Now what it is basically here, it will give you a shape. It will take a shape of whatever shape you're using. Suppose if I will go here, change it to a pyramid, it will change all the way to pyramid, it, square, all the way to square, and half bell, whatever you are choosing, it is giving you here. Okay. So I will stick to disk and go to the shape mapper now. Now here in the shape mapper, I have here shape of the map so i have either a circle or a polygon so if i will go to the circle so you can see that increasing will give me like keep on giving me uh like pattern amount of what i'm choosing right now it is 10 so i can make it 20 and i can have more i can have even more and if i will choose polygon so it can give me a polygon shape. So you can see it is becoming polygon now. So let's increase more so you can see how the polygon looks like. Now you can see it's all polygon here. If I increase more, so more polygon. So I hope you under, uh, I know now, uh, I hope you now understand about the circle and the polygon. Now it should be more clear. One thing we have to do here is take, uh, press shift key, take all these nodes and connect here. So I can see what's going on. And first thing here, I have to go to the edit uh, of the materials and uh, increase the scale here so you can see the result. Now, either circle or uh, polygon up to you. Now here we have the pattern amount. We'll keep on increasing the number of the uh, like pattern you, you want it here. Now this is the radius. This is the size of this. You can increase or you can decrease okay so you can uh, do like you can decrease the size you can increase the size totally up to you now width so this is the same uh, thing in the, like if you do but it's it's not same as the radius it's, it's a bit different because here what it is doing is that the radius actually changing the size of the circle itself with on the other hand is changing the size of these shapes making them wider okay so that's a oh, one major difference here i can reduce the radius and increase the uh, width and you can get a really nice looking uh flowery sort of thing and now if i go here and change this to parabola uh, like bullet so i will have this sort of a result okay now I have rotation here, so it will keep on rotating. Okay, flip one or two. So if I click it here, fl uh, click to make it false. So what it will do? One on two will be flipped. Uh, these shapes. So basically, you won't uh, notice it right now until you get the more of these uh, shapes on on it, but. At this stage, like you will not notice what is going on. Now, one more thing we can do here is that we can add a circle. Uh, like I will, we can change it to polygon. Okay. Now, after that, we can change this to square also, so we can get this sort of an effect. Okay. Now, one more thing in the polygon, things are a little different. Okay. So you can make a link segment with pattern amount or unpattern amount so it's totally up to you because this will give you circular sort of uh, touch but actually we are looking for the polygon 
structure. So that's what we are more interested in because it says polygon, so it should say polygon. Now segments are basically to increase the polygon segments. Or, uh, if I will reduce it, it will become uh, three corners, like it will become more like a uh, line, but like, sorry, a triangle. Okay, let's, let's reduce this so we can see what's going on here. Okay, and if I will make it two, so it will just two parallel lines. Square, a pentagon, and hexagon. So this is how you can change these. Now here we have width, as, I, as you know, this is the width about uh, like shapes that is you uh, that that's that it is using here. Okay, now rotation the way you want to rotate it. So this is how you can change it. Now so many other things you can do here. It's not necessary to have a shape. Let's delete the shape and then add a tile generator and let's see how we can what sort of uh, effects we can get through that tile generator here. Now. There are a lot of squares here, for, but let's keep it simple. Let's make it four by four, just to see how, like, what sort of, what sort of result we are, we will get if we have four by four. So if I'll connect it here, so you can see that we have four by four here. Okay. Now, if I will go and change this to two, okay, or one. So you can see how that is changing and this one if i will change it to five so you can see how this is changing okay now more of the things we can do here in the like tile uh editor like uh in the tile generator you can change it to square okay and you can get this sort of an effect here and you can reduce these amounts here to get uh, different effects. Okay, you can increase, decrease, and then you can uh, scale random. Just notice how you got, you kind of getting a, like a result over here. Offset random. Offset actually, how we will get this. Now, luminance by random, if I increase or decrease, you can see that. What kind of result? You can make nice sort of buildings or like, stores, like sort of stuff here. We can use this mask random, so it will generate some, and at some places, some places it will be gone. Okay, checker, like checker mark will give you something like this, horizontal mask. So like a lot of things you can do. Keep on experimenting and you will keep on getting some like really good uh, like I, like styles here and stuff just like that. And just see how you're getting this. Okay. And if we go back here in the uh, shape mapper, you can increase the number, uh, you can decrease the number of the polygons here. And you can get some sort of a really nice, uh, sort of a uh, science fiction, or like sci-fi sort of, uh, you know, outputs here. And one more thing we can do here is that we can add high quality blur. Okay, move everything here inside. And up the quality, reduce the intensity. So maybe point three will be fine. Yep, and one more thing you can do here. Bevel. So 
so you can take all these so instead of round we will choose angular reduce the distance And I think take this to normal. Grayscale conversion so we can have a good normal stuff. Or just undo that. So just remove this from here uh, the blur and let's try with this so you can do some experiments and, and check how like what kind of re like result you can get with it so i actually don't uh like this so i can remove it without that it's much more better like very nice sort of a uh shape we have this so it's just like i said it's very uh, fun to use uh really interesting results it can like it can give you right now uh we are using polygons what if i will go to circle and see just check pretty good maze we have it here so some cool stuff uh it can make it for you and then try uh, these and just experiment with it see what you can do with it and then a lot of great stuff it have so you have to work uh, with the tiles i like the result with the tiles okay what if we change it to disk so we can have this sort of artistic result, pyramid, some surrealistic result, bell, okay, paraboloid, this, and you can add your own stuff also over here. This is very interesting radiation. Let's see how, like, what sort of result you have with the radiation. Radiation offset, like that, have a little bit offset from the over the ground, it's kind of in the air. So try, check, see what sort of uh, like cool things you can make with it, and also share with me. So uh, it's I will get some ideas from you guys also. So I hope you have liked this to, to uh, like. Uh, my lesson and you have learned something about the shape mapper node and uh i and i'm sure you will be waiting for the next lesson i would like to thank you all for all your support and i hope you will continue to support me please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet and i will be posting a lot of new content so don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about them if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and leave uh, any question if you have in the comment section below and i will surely answer them and in the end i must say that please watch my videos online so that i can get benefit out of it because if somebody downloads it just like that i won't get my hard work won't pay, like pay off like that so please uh watch it online uh, and support me so thanks once again everyone and soon we will meet in the next lesson take care of yourself stay healthy and keep learning there's one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDive Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDive Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once 
and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced Dead Eye Premium Plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find at very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic, smashed up retro television.